So I've already shown you guys the benefits of not mowing. Here's some more examples. Uh, these little walnut trees are growing out of the ground here. Uh, right underneath the big tree. Or one of the medium sized trees anyway. And uh, yeah, I would definitely not have noticed these if I was mowing more regularly. So now I got three little walnut trees to plant out. And actually there's a fourth one over there, sorry. Uh, right over there. So definitely lots of uh, benefits to not mowing. But now I'm going to show you guys the benefit of mowing. Hey everybody, welcome back to Conscientious Omnivore. My name is Pal. Today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about some of the work I've been doing in the garden here. As you can see, I've mowed down quite a bit of grass and weeds and everything here, as well as on that side. And uh, I've been kind of piling it up around things that I've planted. So that's the little walnut tree that we planted. I've got a strawberry over here. And um, the rest of it, the bulk of it, what I've done is taken it up around the mulch bed because I'm constantly fighting the encroaching grass and weeds that are trying to get into the mulch bed. So that should help uh, just putting that down. Um, long term I'll probably try to do something nicer, maybe put out some rocks or something like that. But that's, uh, that's a much bigger project so I'm not going to do that now. And uh, I did a ton of planting today. I got most of the things planted that I had here um, just sitting around in, uh, in some containers. And um, I know it's late but as I've said before I don't really care. I'd rather just plant stuff into the ground and see what happens if we get a late um, you know, kind of summer going into fall, if we get a nice um, easy fall, these things still might come uh, and produce a harvest and better to let them try than to just let them rot in the pot. So uh, so anyway, I got a bunch more tomatoes, I got some more ground cherries, I put some sage in, um, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, here I kind of started uh, putting down more, um, you know, straw and dried out grass and weeds and stuff here. It is working pretty well. The ground underneath was pretty moist and most of the grass was already kind of in a dying state. And I've planted three, uh, actually sorry, four things in here. I planted uh, two sage plants, one over there and one over here. And uh, I planted two other ones in the, in the main mulch bed over there. And then I also planted this, which I'm really excited about. This is a Ajipanka uh, chili pepper. And um, many, many years ago when I was living in Boston, with my brother, um, he got these two um, very similar kind of pepper plants, um, chili peppers, that uh, were dried, and I loved cooking with them. One of them was the Aji Amarillo, and the other was the Aji Panca. And uh, I think that I might be pronouncing it wrong, or maybe the Americanized uh, version, but I think in Spanish it would probably be ahi, which I think is pepper, if, uh, if I remember correctly, from what my brother told me. But anyway, so it's probably ahi panca. So, um, that is that pepper and uh, years and years ago my brother had um, taken some of the seeds from those dried peppers and he had grown them and uh, and he gave me some of those seeds like years and years ago I don't even remember I mean it's probably been maybe like 10 years I don't know and uh, it was either like right before or right after I moved to Hungary so anyway it's been a long time and I've had those seeds in a envelope and I haven't really done anything with them and uh, this year I was like, oh, I'm gonna just try to, you know, sprout them and see what happens. So I got five little plants. This is the first one I planted out. I've given my brother one and I've got a couple more that I'll probably try to plant out. And then, uh, yeah, like I say, I got two little sage plants, one in here and one over there. Um, those are just, you know, regular sage. I really like sage. I like using it as a spice and um, I like using it as a tea as well. So I really hope to get a lot of sage maybe next year. Um, this year I'm just gonna probably not harvest any, depending on how big they grow. I'll probably just leave them the way they are. Um, that's a wonderful plant. I, I really love sage. Uh, so anyway, so I hope to get a bunch of that next year. And this I'm very excited about. This is a um, loofah squash. So uh, if anybody isn't um, aware, these uh, loofah sponges that you see in the store, those actually um, come from a squash. <laughs> I had no idea up until, I don't know, maybe like a year ago. I think it was last year when I first uh, saw a video um, where people were showing how to grow it. And, uh, and I was like, oh man, that is so cool. And then this year I got uh, four seeds and I sprouted two of them and one of them died. And uh, I'm saving the other two for next year because I was starting so late this year, I didn't even know what would happen. And unfortunately with this guy, 
slugs ate down the two main leaves that came out at first and there was like one tiny leaf left and then um, it started growing some more leaves and it was still alive and then it got chewed up on even the next couple leaves and then now it seems to be doing pretty well and I've just planted it today and um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. I hope it, uh, you know, comes to, to actually produce a harvest this year. If not, that's okay too. I'm not gonna worry about it, but uh, then I'll, you know, just sprout it next year from the other two seeds. But um, if it does, this is really cool. Uh, you can make sponges from it. You can use it for dishwashing. Um, you can use it for, you know, your personal hygiene in the shower. Totally natural. It's great. You can actually eat them too, obviously, when they're um, smaller. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely do videos about this if it, you know, uh, keeps growing and if we get a harvest. But uh, yeah, that's it for today. Um, I came out here because I needed to do a few things and plant some stuff and I was um, also watering some things like the raspberries and um, doing some more mowing and stuff. So it's just been kind of a crazy day. Uh, today was the day we were supposed to get like tons and tons of rain, but uh, unfortunately it hasn't rained a drop yet. And as I am sitting here, I literally felt the first drop right now. Um, there was like wicked um, thunder and lightning last night. And I thought for sure like we would get like a really good downpour, but nothing. We didn't get any rain last night. I was really, really sad by that. Um, and then when I came out here earlier today, it was like really storming and a uh, huge wind was picking up and I was like, okay, now the rain's coming and then nothing. I was kind of glad in the sense that I could actually plant all the stuff that I wanted, but I was really disappointed because we didn't have water. So um, I watered what little stuff I planted today and um, just uh, some of the raspberries and, and uh, rhubarb on the side. And then that's pretty much it. I'm going to call it a day here and... Uh, Hope to see you guys in the next one, and um, yeah, send some rain this way, we need it. <laughs> Alright guys, see you in the next one, bye.